My name's Jake, and welcome to Star Citizen. Now, this video is going to be a bit different from normal, because normally I would attempt to provide some sort of amusing and witty commentary on the game I play, but this time I just want to be really kind of quite factual and informative, because I know quite a few people who don't really know what Star Citizen is, so I thought, you know, I'd tell you. Um, this is a game which I'm really enjoying. However, before I go any further, I feel I must say that this game is in alpha. This means that there aren't too many features in game at the moment, and you do have to pay for quite a lot of the game, which I'll uh, talk about later. So, what is Star Citizen? Well, it describes itself, quote unquote, in the following way. Travel across the vast expanse of space in a cargo hauler with a friend or two in the turrets. Land on an alien landscape to pick up a bit of smuggling work, only to be ambushed by unscrupulous outlaws, and fight your way from the ground back into space, all in one seamless experience. More than a space sim, more than an action shooter, more than an MMO. This is Star Citizen. It's being masterminded by Chris Roberts, who you may know from the Wing Commander series. As such, the game contains two parts. Star Citizen, the MMO space sim action game, and Squadron 42, which is the single player campaign. Now, I feel I must mention that this game is revolutionary. It is the largest non-AAA crowdfunded game out there. So far, it has raised over $200 million in crowdfunding and has expanded through several stretch goals. All in all, Star Citizen will be a genre-defining space sim, possibly even better than the likes of Elite Dangerous. So, is it any good? Uh, well, to be honest, the short answer is no. Uh, not at the moment, not really. Because it's an alpha, it is so far to go before it's actually ready to play. But, that said, Star Citizen, as it is now, is an amazing experience. Yes, there's basically nothing to do in the Persistent Universe, apart from run the same missions again and again if you're by yourself, but if you join a community of players called Organisations, you will have so much fun. In addition, you have access to some multiplayer modules, Arena Commander and Star Marine, which you'll have some fun with. However, it would be remiss of me not to mention the countless bugs that are littered throughout the game in its early alpha version. Uh, that is alpha though. It will get better. The game will be so much cooler when they add planets into the game in update 3.0, as well as what's called item system 2.0, which I'm not even going to try and explain. This will ex improve the experience you'll have in game and will make it far more interesting than it is at the moment. And that brings me to my final question. Should you invest? Now you may have been watching quite a few videos about Star Citizen and decided that it sounds like... Ooh, I've just hit something in the middle of space. I think that was a ship I just hit there. That's amusing. That's um, one of the bugs that I mentioned, I think. So I'm now respawning. So this is respawning back in Port Olisar, which is the place I just took off from. Where was I? Oh yes. Now you may be watching quite a few videos about Star Citizen and thinking, yeah, this is a cool game. I'd quite like to play it. And you may have watched some opinion videos on whether you should invest or not. Um, so I figured I'd give you some pointers I'm not going to tell you whether you should or shouldn't, I'm just going to give you some pointers on whether you should invest or not. And the first thing to consider is that you won't be buying the game, but rather investing in it. Although you'll have access to the game as it develops, there is no guarantee what might happen in the future. However unlikely it might be, the game could still crash and burn and you will have lost quite a lot of money. You should also consider the fact that the game will probably be free when it releases, and you won't need to spend a single penny in game to get places. I can't guarantee that, but that's probably what's going to happen. At the moment, you need to pay for the ships you want, and the prices are extortionate. Personally, 
I've chosen to spend no more than my starting £33.60, which in itself was a holiday discount. The current price of a starter pack is £43.20, which is quite a lot more. That there is one of these ships that you will have to buy surplus to the original starter pack. That's called the Avenger Titan. It is one of the cheaper ones though, so if you do want to spend an extra £10, that there is your ship. Um, there are several other things that you should consider um, when investing in the game, which is it is a space simulator, and that the keyword there is simulator. If that's your sort of game, brilliant, but if it's not really, then maybe you should reconsider. And um, but yeah, I hope as I I hope as I hope sorry that offers you some guidance. Now before I finish, I must add a disclaimer. These are my thoughts and opinions, and I recommend that you take them with a pinch of salt. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you Welcome to the Port ship deck. next time. Please press the 